thanks for stopping by and congratulations on your new Thunder Laser. Today we're going to talk about maintaining your focus lens and the mirrors on your laser. This is a maintenance item that's got to be done on a very regular basis. And so the sooner you know how to do this, the better off. Because if you're using your laser a lot, you'll want to be cleaning this focus lens almost on a daily basis and your mirrors on a weekly basis. Again, just depends on how much you're using it. Today, I'll take you step by step on how you clean the focus lens and how you clean the mirrors. It's something that you should do often to make sure you keep your machine in tip-top shape. Let's check it out. Let's go over the uh, materials that you're going to need to clean your focus lens and your mirrors on your laser. In Thunder's toolkit, they provide some lens cleaning spray and some very soft white uh, lens cleaning cloths. Not part of your kit would be some Q-tips. I highly recommend going to get some of these. These will aid in your cleaning process. Get some disposable gloves, some blue painter's tape, and if you run out of this cleaning solution, you can always use 91% isopropyl alcohol. Couple of comments about the disposable gloves. I highly recommend that you use your disposable gloves and you're wearing these gloves anytime you take these cleaning cloths out of the bag. This will prevent any oil from your, from your fingers getting on the cleaning cloth and eventually making its way to your, either your focus lens or your mirrors. Um, always keep these cloths in a bag, keep them sealed up. Um, if these get dirty, uh, it could possibly scratch your lenses or your mirrors. Before we get going on the cleaning process, let's talk a little bit about safety. Anytime you're working on your laser, you should always turn the machine off. The first thing that we need to do is get the laser head to the front of the bed so it's easily accessible. It's currently in its home position at this point and what I'm going to do is use the right arrow to move it over and then the down arrow to move it forward. And this is a good spot to access our laser head. The next thing that we're going to do is we have to lower this bed down in order to slide this tube out so we can get access to the lens in this laser head. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and lo lower the Z far enough to where I can go ahead and pull this laser tube out. Go to the menu button and in older machines it's right arrow, on the newer machines it's the down arrow. And I'm going to move it down four or five inches just to make sure I have enough room to go ahead and slide, loosen this up and slide it out. In order to unscrew this and drop this nozzle out, we have to remove the air supply hose to the nozzle. The easiest way to do that is this white ring that you see right here. It needs to be pulled down. And when you pull it down, it will, will release the air supply tube. You see that just as a spring-loaded, push it down and pull it out. When you're putting it back in, you just push it in. Pull it down, lift it out, and then just put this out of the way. Now that we've got the air tube removed, we're going to go ahead and take the lens tube out. You always want to make sure that you're holding on to your, your laser tube. Unscrew this gold knob just a little bit, and this tube should slide right out. And now you've got your lens tube separated from your uh, laser head. Okay, in order to take this nose cone off the, the uh, tube itself, just hold on to the tube and unscrew the nose cone. Comes all the way off. I'll put this tube down. Here's your nose cone. Typically you're going to have some pretty good buildup here and maybe even in this orifice here. You want to make sure that you clean these areas real well with the cleaning solution. Also go ahead and swab the inside. Sometimes the inside gets dirty as well. And set this aside. You'll see this is your focus lens. 
and you will see there's a little ring in there that holds that lens down. There's a special tool in your toolkit that will get and will use it to unscrew that ring and go ahead and dump that focus lens out on a nice clean soft cleaning cloth. This is the tool that you'll need to remove the ring that holds down that focus lens. You'll notice that it has two different sizes. The big size is too big for this and you won't be able to use it so you'll have to use the smaller size. The best way to do this is go ahead, you gotta wanna make sure that you put this in flat so you're not scratching the lens in any way. And, and just hold this solid and then go ahead and turn your lens all the way until it gets far enough away from your focus lens. And then a lot of times you can just go ahead and use your finger and unscrew it. Now you want to make sure that you've got a spot that's nice and open. You don't want to hurry about doing this. And this focus lens, or excuse me, this focus ring will eventually come out here. Another great reason to wear these gloves is they got a lot better grip than your fingers. Okay, and now you see the focus lens in there. All we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and gently dump it out on our cleaning cloths. Put this here. You'll also notice that it has a convex to it, meaning it's got a hump on one end and a convex on the other side. We're going to take a look at this lens. Again, you want to make sure that you don't if you drop it, it's not going to go anywhere. It's going to land in a nice soft place. You're going to want to look for any uh, marks, burn marks, anything like that. Kind of use the light to move it back and forth. Let's go ahead and get it cleaned up. Okay, in order to clean the lens, you've got two options. You can use the spray, spray on the lens, and use your cleaning cloths to wipe it off or you can use a q-tip. I prefer a q-tip. Um, either way will work. It just depends on what your preference is. So I'm going to go ahead and just squirt a little uh, cleaning solution on my q-tip. I'm going to hold this up and I'm going to roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. Then I'm going to use the other end to dry it. One thing that I would highly recommend is never reuse your Q-tips if you're going to do it this way. Q-tips are cheap and you don't want to take a chance on scratching your lens. So I'll go ahead and put that one away. And now you look at that lens and it's nice and clean. I'm going to go ahead and flip it over. I'm going to get another Q-tip, put a little cleaning solution on it. I'm going to pick it up and do the same thing. I'm going to roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. If you have a buildup on this lens and it's dirty, um, you know, use plenty of Q-tips. If you're seeing something on your Q-tip as you're cleaning this lens, keep changing out your Q-tips because you want to make sure that you're always cleaning your lens with a nice, clean, fresh cotton swab. Then I turned it over. And we've got a nice and clean lens. Okay, one of the things that I always worried about when I first started cleaning my lenses or my lens on my laser is which direction do I put this lens back in the tube. And one thing that you'll want to pay attention to is you'll see that this lens has a crown on it. It's got a crown here and a convex on the bottom. It, it's fairly slight, but you can definitely tell the difference. You always want to remember that the the crown part goes up. So if this is the laser tube the way it goes up into the laser housing. 
Um, and that crown always needs to be facing towards uh, the mirror or facing up, which means when you install it, it's going to be down. So just remember that this cone part of your lens or the hump part of your lens actually has to be facing down. And the way you just, you're just going to go ahead and gently drop that in there. And I usually wiggle it just a little bit just to go ahead and make sure it's seated. And then you're going to come up here and you're going to go ahead and install this ring. What I do is I just get it started and then use the tool. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and st stick the tool in there. Turn the tube, that way you can keep that tool nice and flat. Now one thing that you want to be careful of, don't ever over tighten this ring. It should just be slightly snug. Always make sure it rattles, make sure it's flat. And it's going to come to a hard stop and just ever so slightly snug it up. It doesn't, shouldn't be tight. You'll crack your focus lens if you, if you bear down on it. So it should be just, just a little snug. It doesn't need hardly any tension at all. And now we've got your focus lens all cleaned up. All we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put our nose cone back on, screw it back on. And you've cleaned your laser uh, focus lens. Okay, now that we've got our focus lens all cleaned up and our nose cone reinstalled, we're going to install this back in the laser. And so you want to make sure that when you install this laser tube, that it goes all the way up and that uh, it stops at the ring here. So make sure it's pushed all the way up and then turn your little gold knob clockwise and get it. Uh, tightened up and then normally you would go ahead and reinstall your your air supply tube and just by pushing it down but because we're going to go ahead and take out this mirror mirror number three out next just go ahead and leave it disconnected okay so we're going to go ahead and use the large end of this tool we use the small end on the focus lens we're going to use the large end on the mirror retaining ring and all we've got to do is stick this in the slots loosen it up it shouldn't be too awfully tight and again make sure you have your gloves on just because you don't want to get any grease or oil on the mirror back this ring all the way out and just go ahead and set it on the honeycomb next is where the blue painters tape comes in you can use really any kind of tape masking tape whatever you prefer so what do I do here is I just take a piece of tape and I sticky side out and all I'm going to do is I'm going to place that tape on the back of that mirror and that gives me the ability to go ahead and pull this mirror out being careful not to drop it and then take it over to the bench. Okay, now that we've got our mirror three out, and you can see shiny side here. Again, you want to use the light to see if you've got any um, dirt or smudges or smoke residue on it. This lens, or excuse me, this mirror is pretty clean, but we're going to go ahead and clean it anyway. And so you clean it the same way that you do, you did with your focus lens. You'll go ahead and take a Q-tip and get a little bit of cleaning solution on it and pick it up and just go ahead and slowly rotate that q-tip as you're wiping across the mirror surface 
and then turn it over and dry it off. Grab another one here. So I've got something right here. It's like a, just a little bit of a smudge or something like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit more cleaning solution. Again, try not to use the same part of the Q-tip twice. You'll be amazed on how dirty sometimes these mirrors get. So don't just think that your focusing lens is the only thing that will um, get dirty. These mirrors, especially mirror three, this one, will get dirty, um, especially if you're engraving a lot, it's producing a lot of smoke, um, it'll get on this mirror. And a dirty mirror can really affect uh, your laser performance. There we go. Now we got it nice and clean. Now we're going to reinstall this the same way. I'm going to go ahead and take the blue painter's tape, put it on the back of the of the mirror, and we'll go put it back in the lens uh, in the laser. Okay, once I've got the uh, blue tape, painter's tape on the back of the mirror, that's how I'm going to basically hold it, and I'm just going to go ahead and gently roll that into its housing. Peel the back of the painter's tape off. And the trick is just to lift it up and make sure that it fits in there and moves around. And you can hear it kind of clicking in there, but it should be nice and flat all the way around. You want to make sure that that mirror is flat, not cocked in any way. And reinstall your retaining ring. When you go to tighten this, same thing. You uh, want to use very light pressure. There really is no reason to go ahead and uh, over tighten this. So we're going to use the, the tool and just ever so lightly, just a nice snug. Doesn't, uh, doesn't move anymore. And you've just cleaned your mirror three. Okay, once you've got your Mirror 3 retaining ring reinstalled. Take your air hose and push down. Make sure it's down all the way. And this whole assembly now is clean. You've cleaned your focusing lens and your mirror 3. Time to move on to mirror 2. So here is mirror 2. The laser beam comes from mirror 1 on the back of the machine, hits this mirror here, bounces at a 90 degree angle and comes over here to mirror three and then turns the 90 degrees down through the laser cone and through the focus lens. So that's your laser beam path. The easiest way to take out uh, mirror two is you use that same uh, tool and uh, unscrew this retaining ring just like you did on mirror three. Put a piece of uh, painter's tape on it Pull it out, clean it just like you did in mirror three, put it back in, reinstall the re uh, retaining uh, ring, slightly tighten it down, just um, snug, not too tight, and you're good to go. A lot of people will clean this one without taking it out from this other side. They'll actually clean from this side using Q-tips, but it is recommended that you take this out uh, every so often just to make sure you're getting a good quality clean on that mirror. Okay, in the back of the machine on the right hand side, this is the uh, right hand side of your laser tube. This is where the laser beam comes out. This is your beam combiner here. There's one lens for your beam combiner. Uh, 
to go here and bounce this direction. This lens needs to be cleaned. And then there's another mirror. This is mirror one right down here. And that's the one that typically you're not gonna take out. You're just gonna clean in place with some Q-tips. So we've got uh, uh, three different surfaces to clean here. We've got, um, excuse me, two, two different surfaces to clean. We've got the beam combiner and we've got the mirror. This is mirror number one. Same thing, you're gonna take your cleaning solution and your Q-tip, little bit of a cleaning solution on a Q-tip, and same thing, you're gonna just roll across that surface, making sure you're getting any dust, any smoke, and then turn it over. And dry it off. Grab another Q-tip here. And let's get mirror one. Same thing. Mirror one's a little tough to see. Best to just look down on it from the very top. And I'm doing the same thing as I did on all the other mirrors. I'm just rolling that Q-tip along, turning it over. And making sure it's nice and dry and clean. Well, as you can see, with a little patience and the right tools, you can maintain your focus lens and your mirrors on your laser. It really doesn't take that much time. I do it very consistently and it takes me maybe 10 or 15 minutes to do it all. I would highly recommend that you check your focus lens on your laser head daily. If that gets contaminated, your power is going to diminish greatly and it's going to affect the quality cuts or engravings on your laser. Please refer to thunderlaserusa.com for the latest maintenance recommendations. Until next time, thanks for stopping by and have a great day.